it's quen galore at the moment quen 3 family has put on a show which showcases three magnificent models two of them we already have covered on the channel the instruct one and the thinking one and in this video i am going to show you how to install this captioner model what's its use case and we will also be testing it out on various prompts this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot so you can see that i already have covered the instruct and other model now coming back to this model this is something unique i would say this captioner model is a fine-tuned variant of the coin 3 instruct focused purely on audio detailed text description so audio in and detailed text description out it's trained to produce rich low hallucination captions for arbitrary sounds it could be speech it could be music it could be ambience it could be mixed sources without needing any text prompt that's it you don't have to give any text prompt to guide the model all you need to do is to provide it an audio and it is going to caption it compared with generic asr or transcription models this captioner goes beyond words to describe who what where how or in other words speakers emotions environment sound events timber rhythm cinematic sfx and lot more and it maintains strong multilingual awareness for speech segments when they appear i will be talking a bit more about its architecture but for now let's get it installed i am going to use this ubuntu system i have one gpu card nvidia h100 with 80 gb of vram if you are looking to rent a gpu or vm or cpu on very good prices you can find the link to best compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50 percent for range of gpus so let's get everything installed i'm just going to go with vllm in order to serve this and you can see that not only that i'm also installing transformers plus quen's omni utilities which are must in order to run this so while it installs let me also introduce you, you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent. iGent is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application empowering you to build manage and deploy a custom ai workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks and now i am going to serve this model with vllm with all the usual parameters it is going to first download the model and then it is going to serve it on our local system and we will do the inference on various audio files which i will show you shortly and i will also play them out so you can see that it has started <clears throat> downloading the models configuration and all the tidbits with the help of vllm it has detected my cuda device and it has also detected all the prerequisites there are 16 shards of it while it downloads let's talk briefly about the architecture of the model so the design of model is very simple it is a single turn audio only input and text only output it's a mixture of expert but only few of the experts are activated what happens is that you send one audio clip ideally under 30 seconds for best granularity and it returns a comprehensive caption this makes it a great fit for creators accessibility workflows video post production data set labeling and monitoring anywhere you need fast reliable description of real world audio without writing a prompt so that is a use case which i could think of but if you think that it could help you in your use case please also describe it in the comment okay let's wait for the model to get downloaded and then we will go further and the model is now downloaded and is being served on our local system let me show you the initial vram consumption of the model so it is consuming just close to 72 gig of vram but it is going to go up but and we will also check it out once it is fully loaded let's now do the inference for inference what i'm doing i'm just giving it the path to a local audio file on my system and i will be testing it out uh, in multilinguality in some of the emotions maybe a music everything is ai generated on my own so no uh, you know issues there everything is local and private so let me first play this audio file for you and then i will show you the inference from my terminal so listen to this audio file, please. I can't believe this is actually happening. 
After three years of working nights and weekends, I finally got the call. They accepted my proposal. My hands are literally shaking right now. There were moments I wanted to give up, especially after that brutal rejection meeting last winter. Okay, so let's wait for it to come back. Let's also check the VRAM consumption in real time. So it is just gone until you know, just over 72 gigs, so not that much. Let's go back. There you go. Look at the caption. The audio clip opens with a clear high fidelity recording of a single female speaker, correct? Whose voice is marked by a mid to high pitch and a general Australian English accent. She speaks with a rapid breathless pace, conveying intense excitement and you can read through it, it is amazingly written. Coherent, fluent, amazing. As she continues, her emotional intensity remains palpable. Yes, that is right. So you see, it is detecting the emotion. And the recording environment is acoustically controlled and silent except for a faint, steady electronic hum. Because it's an AI-generated one. The recording is digitally clean with no distortion or clipping and maintains a consistent dynamic range. How good is that? I mean, how good is that? <laughs> okay, so that is cool and uh, all things let's try out another one okay next audio is in my own voice let me play it and while i play the other one how many letter r are there in the word strawberry let's see what model says it says with a brief silence yes establishing a quiet controlled environment a male speaker whose voice is clear and calm initiates a recording by asking how many letter R. I didn't say letters, I just said letter R are there in the word strawberry. His speech is delivered in a neutral, slightly questioning tone with a subtle upward inflection at the end. The pronunciation is characterized by a non-rhotic accent. I have no idea what that means. Uh, typical of Indian English where the R at the end of the letter and R in is dropped. That is correct. And R in the strawberry is pronounced as a tapped or flapped R. How good is that? I mean, wow. So if, I think it could be also useful for accent uh, orientation. And I know that there are a couple of people who are not happy with my accent, but look, nothing I can do about it. And I am not really um, protected about it either. This is what it is. But if you want to improve your accent or whatever, uh, just check this out. This is really, really good. In summary, the audio features a single male voice speaking in a clear, non rhotic Indian English, posing a straightforward question about the number of R letters in strawberry. The recording is of high quality. Now, um, this is really good. I mean, um, even though I'm not Indian, but it has detected, I think it is talking about subcontinent, um, you know, region. But I think it has done wonderfully well. Okay, so this is another thing which we found about it that it can even pick up those accents. Okay, let's try out another one. Okay, next up, I'm going to give it a WAV file. The previous files were MP3. I'm not sure if it can handle WAV or not, but let me run the script and I will also play that audio for you. You've hit me four times now. You've hit me four times now. So this is the audio and you see it says the audio clip begin abruptly immediately presenting a high pitched strained male voice that exclaims you have hit me four times now let me play it again you've hit me four times now you've hit me four times now you know what honestly speaking first time i didn't even you know uh comprehend the word hit but model has done it the delivery is urgent and emotionally charged with a tone of complaint and rising frustration Look, I can't read it all, but you can already guess it. It has done a wonderful, wonderful job. Okay, let's do another one. And I'm just going to maybe go with a music file. Hopefully it is uh, going to, uh, should be fine. It's an AI generated one, which I generated for another video, which I will also show you. I think you should watch it. If you haven't already on the channel, I really, really like it. It is really comforting, but I digress. So this is a crunch.wave. I'm going to play it i'll first clear it and then i'll just run this and play it in the background for you wow 
why this is the video I'm talking about. So I'll just run it. You should watch it. Well, poor me, I thought it is going to go viral, but it didn't. Anyway, I don't really, uh, sorry, I'll just go back to see what is there and I will just show you the output now. So you see, the audio clip opens with a faint high pitched metallic chime reminiscent of a bell or gong. And if you read through it, it has done wonderfully well again. I mean, I'm reading through it quickly, paragraph by paragraph, there is no speech vocalization or environment noise, the focus remains entirely on the abstract non-musical soundscape. This is really good stuff. Okay. And now let's have a quick look at some of the multilingual ones. So first up, I'm going to go with the Swedish. I know that I have been uh, not including some of the Scandinavian language. One subscriber complained, my apologies. Here is the Swedish one. I will also include the other Norwegian and the other Scandinavian language languages too. Let me play this first. Gilla prenumerera och bli medlem i kanalen. Okay, so that is the Swedish. Let's check it out. And we will also check the <clears throat> VRAM. Okay, what happened there? Okay, so you know what? I think I... So when this happens, you don't have to worry about too much. You just go to your... Here, I think you say it says that it couldn't find it the reason being i have given it the wrong path so i'll just call it multilingual i'm not going to edit it you can just watch it so that you would also know how to troubleshoot these sort of things let's play it again hopefully this will work this time it is working now okay, it was so quick and i just wanted to show you the vram consumption it has gone up till here it consumed almost all of it. So this is a VRAM consumption which it is staying. And it says that uh, the audio clip begins in complete silence with no ambience noise and you can read through it. It says speaking standard Swedish. So it has identified the language and it has identified the words. Gilla prenumerera och bli medlem i kanalen. Gilla prenumerera och bli medlem i kanalen. Okay, so it can identify it and if you're a Swedish please also read through it let me know what you think about it and uh, let me do another language now now I am going to go with the Hindi let me play audio while you watch the caption Bazaar mein garam garam samose aur chai ki khushbu se bhara mahol tha jahan rang birangi saadhiyo mein aurte sabziyao kharid rahi thi so you see it says that bustling Indian market and it is I think I don't even, I'm lost for words how good that portal has, uh, you know, done. If you read through this, it is getting the vibe of the audio. It is saying, evoking the atmosphere of a bustling Indian market. And these are the emotional inflections, this one. I think this is where we should just break the pen and then, you know, go somewhere because this is so, so good. And uh, this is such a nostalgic thing. Uh, this is lovely. And then the summary is also out of the world. Right. Okay, so let's try out maybe Arabic one. في الصحراء الواسعة وجدنا واحة جميلة مليئة بأشجار التمر والنخيل حيث يمكننا الراحة تحت ظلالها الباردة. Again, just read through it. It has identified the language, it has identified the gender, it has even given us the Arabic uh, line which it has said and there it has uh, captioned it in a very detailed fashion. You see Jamila then means beautiful. How good is that? I mean look very impressive model. I think out of the three model uh, Quinn has produced today, I believe this one is the best in my humble opinion. But let me know what do you think. If you like the video, please consider subscribing, like the video, share it among your network and most importantly become a member as that helps me directly and I will be very grateful. Thank you for all the support.